Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where we spill tea left, right, and everywhere in between. Today's video is all about Onision, also known as Gregory Jackson, James Jackson, or simply Onion Boy, and his comeback to YouTube, trying to make content for kids. Yep, you heard correctly. The guy who had a documentary made about him by Chris Hansen and his predatory behavior with minors is now trying to make content for kids. But before we get into all of the tea, let me plug the hot tea. Twitter account where you can keep up with any updates as well as send us stories that you would like us to cover. Also, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know when I post. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and comment down anything you want down below. Okay, so let's get into the tea. So, Onision, we haven't spoken much about him on this channel other than the fact that he tried to sue me. Oh, and remember the times that I would subscribe to OnlyFans accounts to view their content for your pleasure? I got a video on his OnlyFans account too. But anyway, who is Onision? I'm assuming most of you guys are aware and know who he is, what he is known for as he's been one of the OG YouTubers, which tend to be problematic and then get cancelled. But for the ones that don't know or may need a reminder, Onision or James Jackson, formerly known as Gregory Jackson, born in 1985 from Washington, he is a YouTuber content creator who created his channel back in 2006 and started posting videos in 2007. He has multiple channels here on YouTube and his three main ones have over 1.5 million subscribers each. One of his first viral videos was the I'm a Banana song, which got his channel more popular. Back then, he was quite liked and had one of the strongest fan bases. At the time, he was around the same level of popularity as Shane Dawson was. Onision made quite a lot of different content, including skits, commentary and gaming videos, music, books, and other merch. He was most known for his weird comedy slash parody skits of other people and fictional characters and his commentary videos on controversial topics. In fact, he was one of the first YouTubers who spoke on different topics like veganism, vegetarianism, gay rights, women's rights, mental health, body image, and trending pop culture topics at the time. You could even say that he was one of the first tea slash drama creators, although that would kind of be a stretch, but ironically, he was involved in a lot of drama and controversies throughout pretty much his whole online career. We're not going to get into all of his serious issues, beef, and drama just because we could be here all day. Plus, there have been a lot of channels that have delved really deeply into who he is and all of his problematic slash borderline criminal behavior. Some of his controversies include creating a cult, multiple allegations of grooming, various forms of abuse, predatory behavior towards multiple women. He got a whole documentary made on him by Chris Hansen on the Discovery Plus channel. It aired last year and it had a lot of mixed opinions on it, mainly due to Chris Hansen's approach. People didn't like how he exploited some of the victims. Onision has also shown negligence towards his children and many, many more disturbing things. He's been in drama with other YouTubers as well, like Shane Dawson, Blair White, Jacqueline Glenn, Social Repose, Eugenia Cooney, freely the banana girl and the list goes on and on and on again we could be here all day talking about every problematic thing onision has been involved in but i want to focus on the more recent stuff so if you would like to know more about him here are some videos that i would suggest watching the onision files by repsion and the right opinions trilogy on onision are really good in-depth videos but now you're probably wondering what we're going to be talking about in this video well there are a few things that we're going to cover one of which is onision's recent attempt at a comeback to youtube by making videos for kids. Yep, the person who's been accused of predatory behavior and grooming tried to make content for kids. But thankfully, YouTube stepped in, kind of. All right, so a few weeks ago, YouTuber iNabber made a video checking what's going on with Onion Boy. iNabber is one of the people here on YouTube who has actively made videos on Onision and his controversies. So in his video, he showed that Onision has tried to convert one of his channel's archive into a kid's friendly channel. He started uploading these weird animated music videos and songs, and if you look into the descriptions of them, you see that you're suggested to go on YouTube Kids. If you don't know, when someone uploads a video to YouTube, they have to specify if it's suitable for children or not, ages 13 and lower, and a video that is suitable for kids has to reflect that it's targeted towards kids. 
According to YouTube, if your video features actors, characters, activities, games, songs, stories, or other subject matter that reflect an intent to target children, it's likely made for kids and you have to disclose that. It's also known that videos on YouTube Kids get much more views and more advertisers since they have to follow YouTube's guidelines by default, although there have been cases where content that is clearly not suitable for children has slipped through YouTube's filters. Some of Onision's videos that technically qualify to be kid-friendly are the Alphabet Song, Sticky Doc Song, the videos use bright colors and animal slash food imagery that you would think it's something that children's songs would include. Someone tweeted at YouTube and asked them to look into this and YouTube actually responded pretty quickly. The person said, Dear YouTube, I'm a mother and I'm angry. Onision, who you demonetized for his offline behavior with regards to claims of abuse and grooming underage girls, is now trying to rebrand himself as a creator of content aimed at children. The man is a predator. YouTube responds, wanted to let you know that Onision's Made for Kids content is no longer available on YouTube or YouTube Kids. Appreciate you flagging these concerns. However, this is not entirely true. Onision's Kids content is not on his channel, but you can find it on Onision Topic. This channel is not run by him, it's run by TuneCore, a digital music distributor. This service is publishing Onision's content on his behalf, so they own that channel. So it becomes a loophole, and the issue is, since it's still Onision-related, YouTube's algorithm can recommend other Onision content. I would give you a preview of some of the songs and videos, but I don't want to get in trouble with Onion Boy. He is known to flag and copyright claim videos for using his content, even when they clearly are following the copyright guidelines. So if you want to check out how disturbing his songs are, go over to Onision Topic and see for yourself. But I will show you a few screenshots if you would like to be traumatized and have nightmares. Now, it's important to mention that Onision and his channels have been demonetized since last year, so he's not making any money from his previous content. However, the Alphabet Song video that he has on the Onision Topic channel has ads on it. He doesn't generate a lot of views on that channel anyway, so I doubt he's actually making any significant profits, but it is questionable why his videos have ads running on them, especially after all of his controversies. YouTube announcing that they've demonetized his channels and YouTube recently removing his content towards children on his archive channel. We're well aware that YouTube cares about their advertisers before the users or creators on the platform, but are they sure that it's a good idea making money from content made by Onision? And next, we have to mention a very recent post made by Onision on his own website and forum. He posted this screenshot from his Discord server saying, Hey guys, I know I've been silent as of late, that's because I've been living life in the real world and realized it's a very healthy place to be. The internet is not real life, it's like a frat house or something. To take it seriously is a really bad idea and I've been making that mistake way too long. Hope y'all are good, I'm really glad I've made friends with some former fans in real life because now we play League of Legends together a lot and bond on real stuff, like as boring losers. I love being a boring loser, and if you're a boring loser, you're cool in my book. Thank you, hope this is the last you hear from me because it means I'm probably being successfully a boring loser in real life rather than updating that new on Discord, whatever that is, lol. We're out at the sushi restaurant, just eating sushi, having a good time celebrating her birthday. Onision walks in. In those videos, he is standing at like the check-in counter. And I look over, I'm like, oh my God, is that Onision? That's Onision. That's definitely Onision. And so I took a video, right? And I, I was like, oh my God, it's Onision. I wasn't a fan. I had watched all of his stuff before the drama, but I wasn't like a hardcore fan. I just thought it was cool that there was like a famous person here and I was in vicinity to like see him. And I was like, you know, it would be kind of cool if I got a picture with him. So I'm going to go say hi 
when we leave if he's not sitting down already because kind of like standing in like the waiting area and he's facing away from me. And so I walk up and I was like, excuse me. And he kind of turns around like, what? And I was like, so I was a little bit taken back and I was like, oh, hi, I'm sorry. Um, I was just wondering if I could get a picture with you. And homeboy goes, I saw you recording me and laughing at me with your friends. No. And I was like, okay. But I didn't actually say, okay. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, please. Like, uh, I lied. I was like, I'm a really big fan. And he goes, no, you're not. <laughs> and just spits on me. It didn't get on my face. Bless up. <laughs> And finally, when checking on his Twitter to see if he has posted anything recently, I stomped upon a few tweets from the last few days where he's promoting his OnlyFans account. Apparently, he has a sale, so is anyone interested in another OnlyFans review? Surprisingly, he does have a quite of likes on there, over 50,000. Some have joked that he probably made multiple accounts and subscribed to himself, so it looks like people actually care about him, but I'm curious if he is still active there after his cancellation. And so far, this is all we have on this topic. It seems like Onision has truly been canceled. He hasn't been mentioned or active online. Besides this recent kids content situation, there haven't been new videos on him. People are not actively bringing him up. His platforms have died out. Let me know what your thoughts are on all of this. Do you think YouTube will completely demonetize any new content by Onision? Comment down below. And here is a little eye bleach to get your mind off of Onion Boy. We upload new videos every single day, so subscribe for more.